shows, mm-hmm. it's a must of that segment. Yeah. So um, a pickup needs to be tough, needs to have I mean, all look the, at the, tires here. So the off-road mm-hmm. abilities. So you see it exactly mm-hmm. the tires. So that it's um, very small alloys, mm-hmm. but really thick rubber. Yeah, yeah. And we have here the mud tires. So um, these mud tires in, 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 mm-hmm. in sand or mud mm-hmm. makes that um, vehicle unstoppable. Yeah. And Let's take it to the front. You can see here, follow me, you can see here. Um, with this car, you can actually pull yourself out of the mud, you know? You so what, that. what you see here, it's that simply you recognize some features of our SUV, mm. Mercedes SUV fronts. Mm. And, but of course, we added here some, um, a winch um, simply to pull the car out of the mud, simply to show that thing is really robust and multi-purpose. Okay. And, you claim, you claim both cars. You, you have the white car over there and then the more sort of wild car and the matte car over here. So it's the beauty and the beast for you. And um, at the same time, uh, Gordon Wagner put it that, like that, it's uh, hot and cool. Why, what do yeah, you mean as a designer designing something that's both hot and cool? Let, let me give a short summary of our design philosophy. Yeah. What we established with Gordon is a design um, philosophy of central purity. Mm-hmm. What do we mean? We can see here. You see um, the hot pole yeah. and the centrality, that's pure emotion, that's a sculpture you really want to touch. That, that if, you, if, you, if you see this form, it's like, like a muscle, that's, yeah, that's like, like the body of a horse or of a human body, that's emotion poor. And on the other side, you see these technical details, mm-hmm. which talk about innovation, about intelligence. There is, that, that is something cold, something cool, really straight, sharp shut lines and precision uh-huh. and that is really the contrast so it's all about contrast hot and cool yeah. contrast of sharp lines but a very emotional sculptural mm-hmm. surface this sort of design style is progressing in the interior also let's take a look at the interior and um, what i do find funny about this uh, you actually installed something that looks a little bit like a fire extinguisher yeah, it is a fire extinguisher. It is actually. It looks like a okay. fire extinguisher because it is a fire so extinguisher. It's not a drinking bottle, actually. No, okay. <laughs> it's not a drinking bottle. Also, this shows multi-purpose. I'm I'm somewhere alone, and whatever happens, yeah, um, yeah, I'm equipped for all for all opportunities. And what you see also here, you see the essential clean surfaces, mm-hmm. but you see a lot of very technical cool, intelligent details. Mm-hmm. Um, looking um, here, you right away see our Mercedes-Benz user interface, mm-hmm. you know, from our passenger cars. Yes. And But I think in that segment, that is very, very unique. You see the touchpad, you see the mm-hmm. screen, um, you have that, that's a novum for that segment. All that you need for, for a connected life. Yeah? Right. Okay. And exactly. w- what impresses me very much is also the, the quality of the materials that you chose. Is it something that we could also expect uh, later on, this is a concept car, uh, for the production model? This is, this is a concept car, but if you see, if you mm-hmm. compare the two different interiors, maybe now um, you see the, the, yeah. the differentiation very, very well Let's in the Let's take interior. it to the other car, because this is fine as well. Now, you have the tough guy. We've been to the rough car, and now we've been to the, we the actually interior. in the living room. <laughs> exactly, you see here. Look um, at that. That is, that is all about lifestyle. That is not the fire extinguisher, which, which tells you um, I can survive everywhere, but mm-hmm. that is all about elegance. So also here, is what, what I told you with the contrast, hot and cool, mm-hmm. is here this warm, um, brown, soft leather, um, but it's contrasting with the really cool um, white Nappa leather. Mm-hmm. And you see also the contrast. You see it also in the details here. You have an, um, you have a contrast between a brushed surface and mm-hmm. a polished surface, and that is all. What, what is all? All of all of this is part of our design philosophy, and that is then here really the lifestyle guy. Mm-hmm. Um, you were asking, what does it tell about our production car? Simply, yes. it, it, it tells that we think in lines. Mm-hmm. So we will offer a car, of course, one car, not two cars. Mm-hmm. But with lines and accessories, we yeah. will be able to equip the car in one direction or in the other direction. Mm-hmm. And this, by the way, this is no no city cruiser. This is also a car you can go in the countryside. But it's just sure. more a little bit more laid out, like a town car, which is more comfortable. Yeah. You can see the wheelbase. It's, it's higher. This car is higher. This car is a little lower. 
and of course has different wheels. Did you yeah, actually basically? Yeah. Did you do the wheels as well? Design the wheels? Sure. Everything. Cool. So what 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 you see though the body basically is yeah. exactly the same. It's just a different wheel setup. Um, and it's different accessories, like the hardcover we put on that car to show it that it's more mm -hmm. closed, so it's yeah. it's more homogeneous okay. um, than the other one. Yeah. This and here you see in the front uh -huh. that we have also a different expression. So the front is very similar, but mm -hmm. um, with um, with the single bar front grille, it's more it's like a more luxury type from right. sedan type, like Mercedes. It almost mm -hmm. re it almost reminds of an AMG. Mm -hmm. Variant, um, sure, yeah. while the other one borrows its two lamella grill mm -hmm. from our SUV range, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that shows you simply so these different expressions these cars have. I, I think we should also go to back because we haven't mentioned the back, and of course the back side of a car is also important. What I do like about this is again take it to the beast because this is this is quite ingenious. Um, you uh, some sort of implement and copy the air gate that you you know in, in the in the olden world it's a flappy you know just opening door and you you like yeah, there is some copy pickups that. yeah there is some pickups they don't have a tailgate but they have just a kind of a net hanging in there yes and that was our inspiration to show this mm -hmm. transparency here mm -hmm. and this gives it a very tough and powerful look mm -hmm. again also with a winch in the rear mm -hmm. while the other ones the other um, completely rear different. Yeah. is completely different. It has a very, very closed look. Um, it's very pure. And, and that's again, so the, so the hot parts, it's the sensuality. Mm -hmm. So that it's emotion pure. While that one says technique, wild, tough, yeah. can do, innovation. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that shows also very, very well the contrast between the two cars. If you would have to make up your mind, which would be the car that you would choose? Or is it difficult for you to choose? It's, it's really difficult uh -huh. to choose, but I would say just for the pure aesthetics, mm -hmm. I, leap, I, I, I love that, that really clean rear. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of the Star Troopers or something like that from yeah. my youth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on the other hand, mm -hmm. if you ask me, take one and take off, yeah. now after that evening of celebration, mm -hmm. I take the beast okay. and would go into the woods, something like that. And we actually nature. are right in the woods. We have the famous Artibalak Museum near Stockholm. And just, just around the corner, you find lots of woods and stones. So probably this one would be the car uh, to go off-road. And yeah. um, I have to say, I found it very interesting talking to you. Um, My pleasure. What, when are we going to see this car? Um, end of 2017, mm -hmm. um, this will come on the market. Mm -hmm. Um, and you will recognize a lot of these features and a lot of the car. So there's a lot of the features and surfaces yeah. are already close to are you, production. Are you still working on these two models or are you already up to the next project? We are this, these cars are finished for you? No. These cars basically, for, if you would see these cars, mm -hmm. they are finished for you. But we are still working on the very last optimizations of shut lines and so on, surface quality, mm -hmm. detailed production optimizations. But of course, we we are in different projects already on the uh, up up Always up in the, in the next mm. chapter. Okay, Kai, it was really interesting and nice talking to you, and I hope you enjoyed our little extra explaining the design. This was Kai Zebra with me, and uh, yeah, that was all the information we could provide for you. So thanks and have a good night. Mm. So thank you, Dan. It was my thank pleasure. You. <laughs> thank you. Okay.